Hi everyone, my name is Myra Gold and in today's video, I will be talking about what AW certifications you guys should get and are they worth it? And what type of certification should you get according to your expertise? So I am personally five times certified, AWS certified. I have five AWS certifications and I think I have a good amount of knowledge of what type of certification um, holds what type of knowledge and why you should take each certification. So I did write up some notes over here on my uh, notebook over here. So I may look up over here. I'm just going to place it and um, I'm just going to read up some points sometimes. So if I do look over here, just don't mind me doing that. But yeah, so let's get on the video. I will start off with each certification, describe what the certification is. And then moving forward, I will tell you guys which one is the right for you according to which expertise you guys want and which type of expertise you guys already have so the question we ask is what's the best certification for you guys if you want to take an AWS certification so now I, that actually depends on what type of expertise and what type of experience you guys have in the field of AWS and DevOps so there are four there are total four experience leveled certifications and total of 11 certifications in AWS so the four experience levels are foundational, associate, professional, and then we also have the speciality ones. So these are the four different levels of levels of knowledge and you can say expertise for these 11 certifications. So the 11 certifications that we have are the first one is AWS Cloud Practitioner, which is the foundational level. Then comes the associate level, which has three certifications. So the first one is the developer associate. Then we have the sysops administrator associate. And the third one is the solutions architect associate. So these are the associate level ones. Then comes the professional level certifications, which include the DevOps engineer professional and the solutions architect professional. And once you get done with the professional level, then comes the speciality level, which includes the advanced networking speciality exam, the machine learning speciality exam. We also have the security speciality exam. Then we have the data analytics per, uh, specialty exam and then we also have the database specialty exam. So a total of 11 certifications and this was the section for the specialty exams. So again, now we ask the question on what type of experience you have in AWS and and this field so if you are really a foundational level a beginner level person then i would suggest you to take the first certification which is the cloud practitioner certification so that's the basic certification that you can get and that was actually also the first certification that i got which was the aws cloud practitioner exam so that certification actually just gives you a whole high level introduction to aws like what is aws what are the services in aws what are its basic um and mainly used services and resources in AWS. So it's just most of like theory knowledge and basic, very easy MCQs and foundational level theory and syllabus that you can just read up, take some practice exams, and then you can also easily pass the certification. So that's uh, that the cloud practitioner one is like, the, as I mentioned, is the most fundamental and the most foundational certification, which can prove that, you know, you have a good understanding of AWS as a beginner in the field or in AWS. So after the cloud practitioner exam, exam comes, which is the foundational one, comes the associate level certifications, which, is, which I mentioned has three associate levels. So the sysops, the devops, and then also, which devops is actually the developer associate. And then we also have the solutions architect. So in this as in this in this level of associate levels, I have done completed two certifications, which is the AWS certified developer associate and AWS certified solutions architect associate. So the solutions architect associate exam is also one of similarly like the cloud practitioner one, but a little higher level than that. So in cloud practitioner practitioner certification, as I mentioned, you do get to know the fundamentals of AWS, like what are its basic services, but the solutions architect um, associate exam actually gives you more of a broader overview of AWS and more of a broader um, overview of all of its resources in AWS. So whatever you learn in the cloud pr practitioner, it's just a little more of those same services. And it also focuses on like the major AWS services like VPC, um, S3, EC2, database and stuff. So more of the infrastructure side and the architecture side of AWS. And it's also um, more of like theory based. So however, some of the questions in that associate level exam are quite um, 
lengthy like you need to read the question and then understand what it's asking you what it's saying and then answer the mcqs so solutions architect associate certification is actually one of the best certifications for it and devops in 2021 so i would suggest that if you are a person who's an intermediate in aws and wants to prove that you are um experience enough in aws that's the one certification that you need to acquire which is the aws solutions architect associate certification and it's um again also it's they have their own syllabus and uh, different like documentation and so many courses online you guys can take a lot of practice exams you can take for the certification and then you can pass it for me passing that certification was somewhat easier because once i completed the cloud practitioner one i thought i should just take the solutions architect associate next one and that's what i did and i just studied more um than the cloud practitioner one and i think it it was pretty easy but it can be difficult if you're really a beginner level person who's who's just jumping from the basics of aws however you do need a lot of hands-on practice in aws if you want to pass the solutions architect associate exam but um that's one of the certification i would suggest you guys to take if you want to prove that you have aws ex expertise so the next certification is the aws certified developer associate which is also a certification that i completed so that certification is actually more uh, deeper into services of aws just like the solutions architect but it focuses on a different set of um aws services for example like dynamo db elastic beanstalk we also have sqs and sns like those were some major um services that were talked about and sometimes also related to monitoring and more like in depth as it is as it as the title says like developer associate so it also goes into some of its uh, ci cd pipeline uh, services it has like its own syllabus that's provided by aws but that exam is also um another certification that is very rec recommended for everyone especially if you want to take a devops engineer job because a de devops engineer job needs to have like a good knowledge of the developer aspect and also the solutions architect aspect of aws so these two associate level certifications are a must and then um comes the third uh, associate level which is the sysops administrator associate certification so i personally did not take this exam uh, but it is also similar to the solutions architect, architect one but is but is i've heard it is also like very hard and not, and not that easy however i didn't attempt it but i've straight, straight uh, went to the professional level certification because more of my expertise was were uh, towards the devops like the developer and the solutions architect side so i did not touch the sysops administrator side of this field so that's why i didn't take this certification but it's also a really good certification that goes in depth of some of the like cloud wash some of the aw services more of like you know as a sysops administrator side so that's also a good uh, certification if you have more of expertise in the sysops and more of the administration side then you should take this sysops admin uh, sysops certification which will be very val valuable for you in your job and interviews and even your resume or profile so next comes the professional level certifications, which is the Solutions Architect prof uh, Professional Certification and the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. So under this level, I have taken the DevOps Engineer Professional. So I myself, I am working as a DevOps Engineer at a company. So um, when I started working at that company and I got more of the hands-on practice, I got more of the experience, I thought, why not take the DevOps Engineer Professional Certification? And I easily passed it at my first attempt. But I would say that this um, certification requires good experience good enough experience for you to be working in aws like hands-on practice is needed for this certification both of them solutions architect and devops engineer like they go very in depth of the services and they the questions are very lengthy and very detailed so they will ask you like questions in paragraphs they will give you scenarios they will give you explanations that this is what is needed this is what is required what should you do what what would you do so these these professional level exams are like no joke they are very um lengthy and the difficulty level is for sure very high so i would suggest you to take these professional level certifications only if you are good enough experienced in an in aws and for to pass these exams you don't need just theory knowledge you for sure need lots of hands-on work in aws and a good amount of 
good amount of experience using AWS to pass these um, certifications. But you can just take them if you're confident enough in them. If you're con confident enough that you have the good amount of expertise, then go ahead, try the certification. I took the DevOps engineer professional certification and I passed it because I was working as a DevOps engineer. I'm st I still am working as a DevOps engineer, but uh, it and it proved to be valuable for me. So if you're someone looking to uh, prove your valuable skills in as a professional in this field, especially AWS, then go ahead and take the professional level certification. So moving forward, we have the last and the most top tier uh, level for AWS certifications, which is the speciality level. So in the speciality levels, as I mentioned, we have five speciality AWS certifications, where, which are special specific to different topics, which we have like advanced networking, we have data analytics, we have security, we have machine learning, and we even have database um, speciality. So these certifications are actually for people who are highly experienced in one specific area of AWS. So for example, if you think you are very good at one top, uh, one specific area of networking in AWS, then go ahead and take this net networking speciality exam. And if you think that you're really good at security in AWS, try taking the security speciality or so on and so forth. If you think you're good at machine learning, then take the AWS machine learning certifications. But as like the professional one, these speciality exams are also very hard. They have a very difficulty level that ha they have a very high difficulty level and they require a lot of experience a lot of hands-on work a lot of theory knowledge a lot of um, broader understanding of aws and in-depth understanding of aws and of its services so for example in this aspect i passed the advanced networking speciality exam and i would say that it was very in-depth and focused on networking in aws like i had questions related to networking only so i studied a lot only networking specific however um i would suggest that these questions are no joke again like the questions are very lengthy very scenario based and you need a lot of like focus you need, you need a lot of experience in this just to get past the um questions there are sometimes also very tricky questions that come in but Again, if you think you are comfortable enough, you have experience enough in one specific area of AWS, then go ahead and take that exam, try it out, and you can even pass it if you're valuable and experienced enough in that. So again, these specialty level exams and certifications are created by AWS. If you want to um, pr prove that you're valuable in one specific area of AWS, and the specialty level, as mentioned, is the highest level. So once you clear like most of the associate level, professional levels, then you can come to the specialty just to prove that you have been experienced in AWS. And these certifications at large are very valuable for you, for your resumes, for your experience, for your career growth, for your own profiles in this field. So AWS certifications are like really good if you guys want to take if you guys are thinking of taking an aw certification go ahead and according to your expertise in the and according to your position in aws try taking the certification because they do prove very valuable and um so yeah these are all the certifications that we discussed for aws i know there are a lot like there are 11 certifications and if you are at the position like you don't know which one to take just just get, uh, like just look at your experience Look at how much you know, look at how much theory knowledge you know, look at how much um, hands-on knowledge you know, and then identify where do you stand. Are you, uh, do you stand in an associate position? Do you stand in a professional level? So a professional so a level, or do you even stand in a speciality level? Or even if you are a very beginner level who wants to take the certification, just start with AWS, then go ahead and take the cloud practitioner AWS certification. So yeah, these um, were all the certifications. This will be the end of the video. I hope you guys liked watching it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of hands-on videos and courses, full courses on YouTube which are free for you guys if you guys want to start off with AWS certifications. We also have them on Udemy and even on our website which is clearas.com. So go check them out and feel free to comment down below anything. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will be there to answer them for you guys and yeah this will be the end of the video hope you guys liked it and thank you for watching